Hello, Cohort C parents and families. If you haven't uh, met me yet, I'm Mr. Gonzalez. I know, strange way to meet. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know how things are working with your children uh, so far from last week, the first week, to this week. So by now you've probably noticed that your kids are signing into this thing called Classcraft. That looks a lot like this. And I hope you're figuring out they're not playing a game, but they're doing science in a game-like manner. Uh, so, for example, this character is their science avatar, which is going to match our science fiction fantasy story element, just to make it exciting and fresh and new. And they have powers they can use in science class with their students, or their partners, at home, uh, that will get them experience points to level up. But the best way for them to level up is clicking right here on this part called Quests. Quests like this one there, the Starship Equinox, is where kids get all their assignments. So these little circles here represent your child's science assignments. And it's nice because they only appear uh, when your kids finish one. So they don't see them all at once like on Google Classroom and wonder, whoa, which ones do I do first and second and whatever. But don't worry, these assignments, many of them, are attached to Google Classroom. So for science, your child's best bet is start here with uh, Classcraft. Because then if they have like this Flipgrid assignment, they can open it up in Google Classroom, and it takes them right to the assignment so they don't have to wonder. And then uh, once they do it, like for this one, they're going to record a video introducing themselves to me. They mark it as done, and I'm giving them uh, a video with all these instructions, so it's, it's not up to you to do this. Leave it to me to teach them how to do all this stuff. But then they're going to come back here. Of course, if you want to help, this is how uh, you can. That's why I'm recording this video. Then they complete the task here, and now uh, I've got two places where I can check your child's work and give them feedback. Whoa, and look at that. This tells me my pet finish training, and that's something that kids love to do, is train their pets uh, in Classcraft. And then there's this assignment here, that once you sign up for Blooms, which I have a video about that later, your kids will be able to uh, complete this project, because then I know I can communicate with you, like this video I'm sending through Blooms, uh, and we can get uh, all our work done this way together because you and I have to communicate to help your child. On, on Blooms, under this video, you're going to see a link to my uh, Homework Daily Work web page, and you're going to look at Cohort C, of course. And this is where I send you messages for the week. I usually do it on Monday, around 8, uh, so you can have an idea of what your child's supposed to do that week. So for last week and this week, I've got a list of the assignments your children will see in Classcraft. And this way you know if your child's keeping up or not. And, and if your child says yes and you're like, I better check with Mr. G, just go to Blooms and message me. And uh, I can check real quick and let you know, yep, your child has done them all correctly. Or your child did them, but I had to send them feedback to fix them. Uh, and they're still working on it because this is all great information, and it's usually what parents need to know the most. So by reading this section, you'll get information you need. Uh, so yeah, watch the next video if you need some pointers and tips on Blooms or to know all that you can do there. But otherwise, I look forward to working with you and your children this year, and have a great week.